Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Cooking Professor. Today in the kitchen, I am going to be making homemade cinnamon rolls. So if this is your first time visiting, please, I want you to sit back and relax and enjoy this video. And if you like what you see, please leave a comment, like, and hey, become part of the CP family. So today in the kitchen, on the roster, we are going to be making homemade cinnamon rolls. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back. And so first we're going to be making the dough for the cinnamon rolls. So first we're gonna need two cups of warm milk. And so your milk needs not to be hot, like maybe room temperature, okay? We're gonna have two cups of warm milk. Two cups of warm milk. I'm going to do a half a cup, half a cup of sugar, okay, half a cup of sugar. Let me see, can I get this open here? Half a cup of sugar. And then we're going to do a half a cup of melted butter. Put this in here like so. Okay. And we're going to mix this. We're going to mix this up really nice, making sure everything is. Blend it together, the sugar, the milk, and the melted butter. Okay. And is that really good? But now we're making this part, we're making the dough. Okay. Okay, we have this mix. So now. We're going to add one pack of Fleshman's yeast, okay? One pack of Fleshman's yeast. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to mix this as well. And we're going to sit this aside in a warm place because we want our yeast to bloom. Yeah, we want our yeast to bloom. So we're going to sit this somewhere room temperature and let this bloom here for about 10 minutes. And I will be right back after this stage complete. Okay. All right, we're back. And so now as you can see that the yeast has bloomed here and that's what we wanted. So now, with that being that, and like I said again, you want to stir that in a warm place. We are now gonna add four cups of enriched flour. three and one more would be four can I even it off level it off a bit okay and 
that's our four cups of flour. And so now, we're going to stir this up. And it's going to look like a, a sticky goo. And that's still, that this is what we, what we want. All right, guys. So now we're back, and I'm going to. This is our dough. We're mixing it. See there. We're gonna cover this up and let this rise. And for some reason, just came out of my. Came out, but that is perfectly fine. All right, guys. So this is now going to sit in a warm place in the kitchen, in my kitchen, for one hour. Um, so let the yeast rise. And if you don't see it rising, you might want to move it to another warmer place in, in your kitchen. So, yeah, I'm going to let this sit out for one hour. Be back soon. Okay, CP fan, we're back. And so while we're waiting on our dough, you can go ahead and, you know, freeze your pans, your tins. So... You won't have to worry about your cinnamon rolls sticking. Okay. With butter. I'm going to do both of these here. So I'm actually going to be doing two pans of cinnamon rolls and I'm going to take my son some because um, when you refrigerate these in the freezer of course you can freeze them and they are actually keep up to three months. So my daughter and, and my son both love cinnamon rolls and of course my two granddaughters so I have to make enough to make sure it is enough. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to make two, two of these. And so we got our tins grease. So I'm going to put these over here. So now, we're going to come to the part that we're going to make our filling. So I have three fourth cup of brown sugar here. And you're going to want to use some softened butter here. Softened butter. You can use maybe three-fourths softened butter for a cup of softened butter here and you're going to need two tablespoons of ground cinnamon or cinnamon when you two tablespoons And I'm actually shaking this over. I love cinnamon. My top is not really cooperating with me here. So that's one. We're going to go back to two of these, okay? Try to do this off. All right. We have our two tablespoons of cinnamon, and we're going to the butter has to be soft, and we're going to mash this together.
Let's keep on working this. And I will be back, right, guys. I'm going to let you see this. And we're going to keep on stirring this and let this, all the ingredients come together. Okay, so stay tuned. And I'm going to show you the finished product of this, the filling. Okay, I'm back, and this is our. This is our filling here. Okay, so we're just sit that right here. That is ready. And now we'll just wait for our dough to come out, and then we can start kneading, and we'll move on to the next step. Guys, I hope you all are doing great, CP family. And we are progressing, moving along to almost reaching our thousand subscribers. So we're really excited about that. So guys, make sure you share the channel. And let your family members, let everybody know what's going on. In the cooking professor's kitchen. They don't want to miss these good recipes. Easy to fix recipes. Okay. All right. So we'll stay tuned, and we will be back with our dough. Use one tablespoon of baking powder. I'm sorry guys, that's one teaspoon of baking powder. Hold on for just a minute. Okay, we're gonna use one teaspoon of baking powder there. And then, we're gonna use another one cup of flour. All right, so we're back. And so now we're going to Just stir this around, and it's going to look like it's dry at first, but this dough has a lot of um, water in it. So we're just going to stir this around here like this. Okay. Take this one out here. And it's going to get wet again, so trust me, it has a lot of water, so we're going to roll this out here. And so, here we have our dough. And I'm going to have some flour here. I'm going to lightly dust that, and I'm also going to have some over to the side. So all of this will work its way together. And again, like I said, you might have to Add some flour to this to keep it going. And then we're going to start shaping our dough. Again, it's getting wet, so when it get sticky, start sticking to your fingers. You know you're gonna have to use more flour. Okay. All right, we will be right back to start shaping. All right, guys. So now you know that. Our dough 
is ready. Okay, so when you stick holes in it and it bounce back like that, you can kind of see it feels back in. Okay, so we have it in the shape, and so you want to go ahead and start putting holes in it as soon as early as you can. it off a little bit. I'm going to dust my roll as well. Because it's an enriched flower, it usually it does well. So you're gonna want to go ahead and spread it in your corners. It's gonna be tight. So. Let's go here and let's go to the end of here. get ready to start rolling. You want your corners okay now that we have this now we can go we can put our our filling down here and I'm gonna get something to help me out here with this and I always like just put it down in different places, like so. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. going to get all of this here so when we start smoothing it like so it'll go and we got this over
We're going to keep spraying this, and I will be right back. All right, now we're back. We have everything covered here, so we're going to start folding. Keeping your roll even as you go. And even when you're going through, if you need to, I had to just put a little bit of flour to help you. Get it up and going. You might have to keep it going. Keep the roll going. You see how I'm using my arm here. start kind of the row and Um, use some dental floss to cut it through, but in my case, I didn't have the dental floss. I had some, but I, I um, specifically for this, and I misplaced it. I don't use dental floss, I just use the other flossing tubes, but at any rate. You always have to improvise, and this is what I'm doing now. As you can see. This one kind of smaller. I fixed this one for my grandbabies. Two small ones here. Okay, so let's get our tins. So they already been buttered. We're gonna place these in here. I say I have these four. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna put four to a ten. And I have one more, so I think I'm gonna make another one here. Like this. Because remember, I tell you I'm gonna make a four for my son. And so that way he will have his. 
and then I have my album so stay tuned guys I'm gonna show you what they look like okay guys we're back and here they are so we're not finished yet we have to now proof them and to proof them means that we're gonna cover them up for about 30 or 35 minutes these are my granddaughters um, Chef Schuyler and Sailor so we're gonna proof these and you're gonna look, we're gonna cover them up for about 35 to 45 minutes and this is like the second rise before they go into the oven so stay tuned guys we'll be back all right guys we're back and now we have finished proofing them and you see they have expanded so now we're going to put these in the oven and they're going to bake on 350 25 to 30 minutes um and depending on your oven it might do faster so i'm going to go ahead and put these in and we'll go move on to our next and step all right so now we're going to make our frosting so we're going to use um four ounces of cream cheese here four ounces of cream cheese and I have 12 ounces here, so cheese we have two tablespoons of melted butter so I'm going to melt this all right we're gonna have two tablespoons of melted butter two tablespoons of melted butter then we're going to do one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. And we're going to start. I'm start on this end here. So we're going to keep mixing this. And we're going to add a cup of powdered sugar. Our frosting. So you want to stir that. Make sure you don't get out all of the little humps through here. So that's delicious. It's our frosting or icing. We're going to have to use four tablespoons of milk. Okay. 
four tablespoons of milk. Our four tablespoons. Mm, this is really, you see, it's like a almost like a liquid. So you're going to pour this over top of your cinnamon bone. And of course you're going to let them cool first before you, because this is going to melt if you, if you don't. So this is ready. This is our icing. That is ready to go. Yes. So we're going to wait and let our cinnamon rolls continue to bake. Stay tuned. All right, we're back. So now we're going to pour the icing. Come back, I will be playing this up so you can see the presentation plate. So stay with us. All right, guys, here they are the homemade cinnamon rolls. Oh my goodness, they smell delicious! All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned, Jeff Scala is going to come on and she's going to do a taste test. So before we go, make sure that you subscribe, become part of the CP family, and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, go ahead. Alright, so Jeff Scala, she's going to take her first bite and tell us what she think. What do you think, Chef Scala? Take what it tastes like? Is it sweet? I mean, this tastes like the stuff. Um, I thought it was like a cake. Okay. All right, there you have it. So we're signing off from the Cooking Professor. Uh, we did the homemade cinnamon rolls. Yeah. So Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know each time I upload a video. So we're signing off. Till the next time. Bye. Bye.